The following program contains adult language, poor taste in jokes, racial slurs, political slurs, slants, and all sorts of things that if you are sensitive and have a delicate constitution, you should probably go watch Teletubbies. You were warned. Hey kids, welcome back to Roto Talk. Alright kids, welcome back. A beautiful Sunday morning after Thanksgiving. And look, no ice. Rock on. So there's inspiration to get our boat sealed. Now, for those of you watching this in the future, don't give a damn about the uh, boat build we're doing. It's the Cracker Box boat build. And what we're going to do right now is seal this thing. Super easy to do. So I do have my big back door open. If you are going to do it the way I do it, with clear coat, make sure you have no open flames. <laughs> this stuff will seriously, the, the flammability, I'll tell you a story about that. Let me grab a brush. So FYI, I buy these from Harbor Freight. Just, this one's a two inch, I buy a box of twos and a box of ones. Easy peasy. So what we're going to do, I've already cleaned it, even though it doesn't look like it, with rubbing alcohol. And we're going to take our clear coat, and this is Acme FC 720, blah, blah, blah. I get it off Amazon, or you can get it off eBay. I buy it off eBay usually. Not too much. Now, there's two methods, and I've gone over this in multiple videos before. <clears throat> I mix this. does not have to be accurate. It's not the space shuttle. Okay, kind of cold out, so I'm going to mix this a little hot, meaning it'll set up faster. But since it is cold in here, it's only like 50, maybe 45. It's going to take a long time to cure, but that's okay. I'm going to let it cure overnight. It doesn't matter. We're not using this as clear coat. We're using this as sealer. Okay. Now, there's a bunch of different methods, schools of thought, if you will. On I usually mix it two-thirds, one-third. For something like this. If I'm painting with it, I get a lot more anal about the measuring, but this, it's okay. <clears throat> so, there's a lot of schools of thought on how to seal your boat. I've seen people use Minwax, believe it or not, polyurethane. It'll work. I don't know how well the paint sticks to it, though. That's the problem. I've never done it myself. Uh, most people use, like, West Systems epoxy. <clears throat> If you want to go that route, look it up. It's called West, fin West Systems Finishing Epoxy. West is in uh, the direction, not Wes. All right, so we're just going to mix this up. I use clear coat because it's lighter, it's cheaper, it saturates the wood. It's super, super thin. It's thinner than West Systems. Um, it works just as well, in my opinion. I seal all my boats this way, and I've never had one except for one, and that's because I fucked up, and it was on our gas rigger that Joe pointed out to me this summer. <laughs> He's like, that looks like you've got, I sent him a picture. He's like, that looks like you've got a little bit of water absorption in that wood. And sure enough, I had missed a spot when I did it. <clears throat> Fair play. You know, that was a long story, but something like this is very easy to do. Um, but all my boats, my hydros, everything. The, the West systems might give you a little bit of extra strength, though. <laughs> very little. It's very flexible stuff. It's very, yeah. I don't think it's worth it. I like this. This is the old school method. This is the way guys used to do it back in the olden days when we was little. Okay. So all I'm going to do, I have the boat upside down. You can do this any way you want. It's not rocket science. Okay. I use a fairly generous amount. <clears throat> Tape up the stuff you don't want getting discombobulated. Now we are going to be sanding this again. Okay, so this is not like this has to be this perfectly smooth automotive paint job. <laughs> this is not clear coat in the classic sense. In the sense of, oh my God, it has to look like a mirror fin. No, 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 no. This is just to seal. Now, work quickly. I work on halves when I'm working on the bottom. If you want to do the sides while you're at it, that's great. I don't. What I do with a cracker... <clears throat> is I won't do this side when it's upside down, but I'll do the other side because I can get to it easier. Then when I flip it over to do the top, then I do the other side. Yeah, Whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Make sure you get underneath. Ooh. 
make sure you get underneath the shaft tube. Now you see I got some paint on there. Or not paint, I'm sorry, it's early. We got Thanksgiving at my mom's on the big lake and uh, across the street pretty much. So I'm uh, kind of hurrying because I want to get this sealed so we can run this baby this week. Try not to have any runs. That's just going to make sanding harder because what we're going to do after this is we are whew, getting stoned. Take drugs, Danny? Every day. Good. What we're going to do is we're going to sand this with an orbital next. And this is going to help fill up any gouges too. Kind of like primer. Think of it as pre-primer. Okay. Um, and it will get tacky. But tape up anything you don't want. This tape on the on the skeg and the rear of the uh, shaft tube, that tape's staying there throughout the paint job. But we're going to do an orbital sand on this with 600 probably. You're going to actually be taking a lot of this off, but what it is going to do is it's going to fill in any pores. Okay, I'm not going to do the back. I'll do, I mean, I will, but I'm going to do it when it flips over. And I am going to do the front side. I don't know if you can see this or not. Don't worry about it. I'll just keep talking. So I'm good at that. All right, so flash time, you don't really have to worry about with it, brushing it on. I mixed way too much, by the way. You don't want tons of runs like I'm getting right now. Okay, trying to get it in your freaking coffee. Ooh, I got the garage door open and it is still very tight in here. When you're dealing with uh, clear coat, always the well ventilated area if you're brushing it. If you're spraying it, guys, I'm telling you, and I am the least safe person on the planet, but I'm telling you, if you're spraying this stuff, use a respirator. If you see me being safe, it's bad, okay? Just FYI. So, very simple. This will set up, if I turn on the heater in here, which I'm not going to, this will set up in a reasonably 65 to 80 degrees. Warmer it is, faster it sets. Um, in a perfect painting situation, this will set in three hours. You'll be able to handle it, uh, physically handle it. <clears throat> I don't know how long it's going to take today, but we're not waiting that long. Usually, flashpoint on clear, depending on the hardener you're using. I use a medium hardener because I live where there's some crazy ass temperature swings. Um, flashpoint's 10, 10 minutes. So you spray your clear if you're spraying. I'm putting this on thicker than spray, obviously. Uh, and then wait 10 minutes, but I don't even do that when I'm brushing it. I just keep brushing it. Not a big deal. Then what we're going to do once that's done. So this is what this is doing. The reason I use clear coat, besides the fact it's cheap and easier to use. The reason I use clear coat is because it seals really, really well. And paint will stick to it really, really well. If you're going to use primer, if you need to. You actually don't after you do this, believe it or not. I know a lot of guys that are ace painters are going to poo-poo that idea. You have to use primer. Share that with you. I'll be hanged if I do. You'll be hanged if you don't. What's wrong with you? To the dungeon. No. Um, if you've done a decent sand job, and we did a rough sand on this, we sanded it with 220, uh, you don't need to use primer. Now, if you got dings and shit and your, your body work looks like crap... Yeah, you might have to use primer. I'm not going to. Two reasons. One, the paint's going to stick just as good to this, if not better than primer. I've done it many times. Number two, um, I'm painting this a very light color. We're painting this boat white. This is the Nintendo boat replacement. Okay. Lighter colors show less defects. That's why I hate painting black. <laughs> you want to see how bad of a sanding job you did? paint it black. Man, I'll tell you what. That pops out like an ugly girl at prom. No, you don't want to use some... I have one black boat. I've painted a few of them black. I don't like it. You have to be so accurate. But, and black is actually very hard to see on water. The darker you paint your boat, the harder it is to see in most cases. Silver is really hard to see too. <clears throat> okay. So that's pretty good. And again, remember, it's not going to be perfect, guys. 
you want it sealed. That's number one priority. Number two priority, no runs. Number three priority, that's about it. Because we are sanding this again. I'm going to sand this with 600, knock the edge down. You're going to um, knock down the surface so the paint really sticks well. If you're using primer, great. If you're not, that's fine too. Um, and that's it. So I haven't done the back. I haven't done this side. I need to do the uh, port side when we flip it over. Now, when I flip it over, see how much I got left? Way too much. That's okay. Then what I do to save time, I don't want to wait three hours for this to cure. I have this little half-ass jig I made. It's just got screws in it, piece of wood. These screws will hold it at the bare minimum points. And then we're going to be sanding it anyway, so those two tiny little notches it shows, ain't going to hurt nothing. Once you sand it down, it'll be fine. Let me flip this over. I mean, you wouldn't want to do this on your paint job, <laughs> you know, because then you'd have divots in the bottom. But again, it's the bottom. A lot of my friends have heard me say that. It's the bottom. I don't give a shit. All right, so now we're going to continue with clearing, sealing the top. Now, if you were going to be spraying this, you would want to put newspaper and stuff in there. You might want to do this before you put your radio box in, but just because we're doing a build video, I want the radio box in for the build. It's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. We're not spraying it. This shit's not going to go all over the place. <clears throat> okay, and that is about it. We're going to seal this pu puppy up. Try to make it so it's not too runs, too runny. So make sure you go over it. Keep brushing. Just keep brushing. All right. Sometimes what I'll do is put my hand in here for a little bit of stability. You want to get in all these areas. And you can, like I said, I just had a drop in there that's in the back. Um, you can still put newspaper. It's about the only good thing with newspapers nowadays anyways, use them for painting. Mm -hmm. All right. Make sure you seal every piece of raw wood. <laughs> the goal here, guys, is to make it so this thing isn't a, a sponge. Go around your edges like that. You want to get everything. And, you know, a lot of guys will do this two full coats. Like, we'll let it sit for five hours, do it again. Go for it. You know, if that's what you want to do. Uh, I just kind of keep going and until it feels relatively smooth. I really never enjoyed working with West Systems. A lot of guys swear by it. Fair play. I'm not one of those guys. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Excuse me. So. Now I gotta do the sides. Side. It's already tacking up. I'm surprised it's going that quick. It's as cold as it is. You know, again, there's a lot of schools of thought on paint, how to paint, you know, automotive style, two part paint, two stage paint. Um, and I have experimented because I was the worst painter in the world when it came to automotive paint at one time. And when I used to build motorcycles when I was younger, oops, I experimented quite a bit. And I've experimented with boats, because boats are a little different than a motorcycle. <clears throat> and, um, obviously. And I've experimented with things, and because I live up here north, northern Indiana, um, I like to be able to paint when it's cold. And I have had really nice, successful paint jobs in 50 degree weather. <laughs> I really have. Um, are they perfect? Nope. I am not a professional painter, but I think I'm good enough to do a boat, a model boat. And uh, by the time, that's the magic. If you ever listen to a, a funky piece of advice from me, here's a great one. Um, remember, if you're using decals, decals are the magic makeup. <laughs> uh, some boats, my decals are strategically placed. Places where I fucked up the finish, the paint job. It's like, oh, you know what? That little 
fisheye there is fine because I'm putting me a big old Evan Rude decal on it. <laughs> I've never had a perfect paint job. Um, when I lived in Ohio, my buddy Don used to paint my boats for me because uh, I just didn't enjoy the painting process. And plus, he was better than me for sure. I mean, I don't deny him that at all. He did awesome jobs. And he painted my Red Baron. And uh, it turned out so beautiful that that's a thunderbolt that I honestly, I've never run it in the water. <laughs> it hangs in my office. All right, I think that's good. Now, the next thing you would do, where is it? Oh, well, remember the hatch? Hang on a minute. I don't even know where the damn hatch went. I just had it yesterday. So, it's around here somewhere. I'm not going to clear coat the hatch, probably, because this is the original Nintendo hatch. It's a little dusty. Okay, Yoshi and Mario, and that's going to fit right in there. I don't even have to paint this because I bought the exact same paint. The, during that crash, there was no damage to this because that was a long ass print, and I just airbrushed these and uh, you know clear coat them. Automotive clear. You have to use automotive clear for this stuff. Um, the reason being, it's got to be fuel proof. Let me dump this in. I'll dump it later, okay? Now, I'm not going to do a paint video on this. This this is as far as it's going. Next time you guys see this, probably Tuesday, it's going to be painted. Um, shot with white, no big deal. Uh, like I said, there's better people to learn from from painting than me, and uh, I don't, I'm not set up for it, like I said. So, you know, maybe someday I will, but again... You know, there's better resources out there. I, I do mine kind of redneck, and it turns out. But most of the boats you've seen in my channel, I have painted. I do all the decals. I do all the paint jobs. I do all the builds, you know, whatever. I'm not bad at it, but there's definitely people out there better than me. <clears throat> so and then once we shoot this puppy, you're not going to see these seams. You're not going to see any of this stuff. <clears throat> so it's going to be really, really sharp. Uh, but again, we're going to hit it with 600 grit sandpaper and then we're going to shoot it and then uh, hopefully I'll even get the decals on I saved in my files on my computer I saved all the decals that I did for the Nintendo so all I have to do is pull them back up and reprint them, resize them, reprint them um, and she'll be back to looking hopefully identical to what it used to look like uh, before we trashed it <clears throat> before I trashed it sorry, you were not involved um, although y'all got to see it, I'll put a link to that in the video. Uh, but now we're just going to let it cook. And it's actually cooking up pretty quick. I'm surprised. Not too bad. I think that's it. Uh, let me think if I missed anything. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. No, I think that's about it. Yeah. So in theory, when this is cured, I could put the guts in it and throw it in the lake. I wouldn't have to paint it. I wouldn't have to um, sticker it. Now here's the nice thing, or here's the thing. I could, it is sealed now, all right? I might put another coat on later just to be extra safe, but I, you can kind of go by the feel of the brush. If it feels kind of gritty when you're doing it, eh, you might want to put another coat. It should feel reasonably smooth by the time you're done brushing it. But you could throw this in the water and run it. I debated, but I've had, this will be one, two, this will be the third Nintendo boat. The first one was silver. Then I changed it to white. I, I sanded it. I loved the boat. It ran really good. And it was just a good runner. And I made it through a whole summer without destroying it. So I repainted it white. Put new decals on it. Because I like white on big boats. It makes them look huge. It's cool. Um, and I made it a new Nintendo boat. Then that Nintendo boat. And that's the one you guys saw on the fire. And uh, that one I actually just beat to death. Because it was two years old. And I ran it all the time. I chased geese with it. <clears throat> and it was just... It was done, you know. So that's the one you see me light and fire to is not the one we crashed. The one we crashed I burned too, but that wasn't the fire one. So then I built another one. That was the one you guys saw in the video that crashed. Um, and that was only like the third or fourth time I ever ran it. That was a brand new boat. Very sad. Uh, and that was the one where we had the electrical connection issue. Um, and that's the one we're, we're rebuilding, okay? Because like the original Nintendo boat, the silver slash white didn't have a painted inside. It had a funky looking Mario on the front. 
um, the second one was actually the, the better looking one. So when we get this thing done, we're going to put up a comparison and we're going to see uh, how good we did with making it the same. Now, it's really weird when you look at it like this. You know, the seam is a little bit off center. And you can see the nose. See how it's not centered? Um, it's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, it's still centered this way. So once you get it painted, though, it's going to look symmetrical and, and perfect. So I am not too upset about that. So that's it. Hopefully, next time you see this boat, she's going to be white. Hopefully, hopefully, it's going to have decals. So till then, kids, keep dry side up. Bye. Shout out, shout out, shout out.